Hi everybody, welcome back. In this problem, we're going to do steady state calculations for an extravascular or oral dose in this situation. So here's the scenario. A patient is given 200 milligrams of drug A orally every eight hours until steady state is achieved. Given the following pharmacokinetic constants, including an elimination rate of 0.102 hours to the negative one, a volume of distribution of 520 liters, and F, which what is F? F is bioavailability, which is what we need when it's not an IV dose, because bioavailability accounts for absorption. So here, it's equal to 0.59, or it's 59% bioavailable. So what is that concentration at steady state just before the next dose? So what does the equation look like here for an extravascular or oral dose in this situation to calculate a concentration just before the next dose at steady state? And what that equation looks like, it has bioavailability, dose and volume of distribution over here on the left side of the equation. And on the right side of the equation, again, it has the multiple dosing factor like we've seen in other videos and in my video on multiple dosing factor, which includes the exponential to the negative elimination rate constant times time. So when we wanna know the concentration in this oral dosing situation over one minus the exponent of the negative elimination rate constant, again, times tau, which is what we see in many other equations as well. And tau is the dosing interval. So let's go ahead and plug in where we can to figure out the answer to this question. So why did I choose eight hours for the time? Well, if it's just before the next dose, we can go ahead and safely assume that we can just do the full interval of eight hours from dose to dose to understand what would be that steady state concentration right prior to that eight hour dosing interval. And on the bottom, that matches. So the top and the bottom exponents match here because we put in eight hours for the tau or the dosing interval. If you go ahead and put this into your calculator, the answer you'll get is 0 0.18 milligrams per liter. So an answer like this will give you the ability to understand, are we underdosing this patient? Is their volume of distribution so large we need to use higher doses? Is the interval not correct? So this will give us a lot of information that you could use given the context of a real drug to understand are these concentrations what we want to achieve? Additionally, in other scenarios, such as a patient experienced side effects, we could put in different times for our T here and understand maybe the concentration is too high during part of the dosing interval. Do we need to shrink the interval so that we don't have such high highs? There's a lot of different massaging you can do here based on just this simple equation to understand what's happening with your dosing and your subsequent concentrations. Thank you for your attention.